So uh, what I, I would like to do in these few minutes, uh, talk a few, uh, I would like to say a few words about the new IODP and uh, especially uh, IODP and uh, polar regions, especially the Arctic Ocean, uh, mention the performance in the system, and then say a few, <coughs> say a few words about facts and dreams. Uh, of course, this is my personal view, and uh, we have some time to discuss. So you all know um, the new IODP science plan, uh, most of you uh, with these major themes, so it's a brilliant plan for the next, <coughs> sorry, for the next 10 years. And so we have uh, the biosphere, climate, uh, solid earth, and geohazards topics. And uh, within this science plan, the, uh, the polar regions and the Arctic uh, are a very important and overall very major theme. That means, for example, leaking climate, ice sheets, and sea level histories on, on uh, one uh, hand. Uh, so this is, these are main, the main, main uh, climatic objectives, but also geohazards, permafrost, and gas hybrids. <coughs> Uh, objectives a uh, major topic in this uh, uh, new program. And you all know, and this has already been mentioned by Leonid, uh, up to now we only have one drilling that's very successful but also very expensive A6 drilling in the Central Arctic Ocean. And of course, you all agree we need much more, but it's not that easy and it was a long way to go uh, to get this one drilling. And so that means there were a lot of uh, workshops uh, in the past, starting uh, in the 80s or so, um, and then 2004 we got this first uh, drilling and further workshops were carried out. We are now here, and I'm pretty sure that more workshops will come during the near future. By the way, I myself became involved in this um, nice, uh, <laughs> topic in 1991, um, here when we were together with the Odin. Um, uh, the, uh, the North Pole, and okay, a long time ago. Um, and um, then the outcome of these workshops, uh, of the uh, starting here with the <coughs> during plans, are several documents, master plans for scientific drilling, and so on. Uh, the most recent one is here that uh, put together during the last two years. Uh, um, it's the uh, science plan for Aurora Borealis. Uh, most of you may know uh, about this uh, fantastic drill ship, but uh, it's much too expensive, so we will not get this drill ship, but we have this site plan, and a lot of nice things are written in this uh, uh, brochure. I have with me if you have interest. But of course, we are talking about uh, drilling proposals, not about uh, big uh, uh, new brochures or so. We would like to get uh, proposals into the system, through the system, and that we get some drillings in the near future. And um, so that means, um, for example, after this uh, workshop we, we had in, in Bremen, shared by Bernie and myself, um, uh, we discussed a lot of areas and proposals. Uh, new proposals came into the system, um, uh, already mentioned by, by, by Leonid. Uh, so this was the status after that uh, workshop. Um, so um, two, uh, seven proposals uh, were in the system. And I will not go uh, uh, into details here because uh, we will have just uh, several uh, presentations about this, but a few words about, about the history and the most recent um, review of these uh, proposals. So these, uh, um, these proposals have been discussed in Edinburgh at this uh, SPC meeting, and some of them survived, some not, and were transferred into the new system. See the, the, the light gray ones uh, were deactivated, but uh, for sure we will, because we are involved in them, uh, we will submit new proposals for the uh, next deadlines. And the other ones uh, we are talking about today and tomorrow are still in the system. They have been forwarded to the new system, to the new IODP, but now the people are waiting for full proposals. And several others uh, uh, were uh, included later. These two proposals have been already mentioned. And <coughs> sorry. at the last PEP meeting in Edinburgh, people were surprised about these two proposals that the, the people thought, the, the revenue people, that there was almost no uh, uh, connection between these two groups. I only mention, I repeat what people said. Um, we have a common proponent. 
Well, yes, but this is what, yeah. what I told the people. There is this cooperation. That, uh, the the uh, discussion continued in that way that people thought the Arctic community, the scientists, are not well organized. Maybe they need another master plan and sit together. And I said, this is totally stupid. <laughs> These people are well organized. And for sure, I said, of course, I said stupid in quotation. <laughs> <laughs> Because, of course, these people uh, know each other, and for sure that there will be one uh, full proposal and uh, not two proposals coming out of this. Yeah? But these are pre-proposals, and uh, okay, these are not the ideas. Um, nevertheless, they uh, brought still a positive review on it. And then, uh, uh, for, to, to make it complete, there's another proposal dealing with the Greenland ice sheet history, but it's not real Arctic, the real Arctic, so it's mostly so the subarctic uh, around green. Okay, so what is in the system? Um, we have these, uh, the red points are proposals which are in the system and <coughs> the orange one uh, will be submitted soon, I already mentioned that. And um, if we think about these proposals, of course we need uh, site survey, more site survey data, and this is just a, a compilation of the scheduled expeditions uh, in the Arctic, and uh, some of them are uh, related to specific expeditions. Uh, so there are um, Polarstern uh, expeditions uh, I will talk about a little bit more <coughs> in the afternoon. Uh, I'll say a few words more. Uh, then the, we have our own expeditions. I still have included this one. I'm, pretty, I'm not sure whether it will be happen, but uh, we will no, hear no. more about that. No? But this uh, I included uh, after the, um, the Kanaskis workshop where Tatsu <coughs> mentioned that there might be an um, uh, expedition in the line. But we have the Aron and, and uh, Polarstern, and uh, there will be uh, another expedition here in the Mackenzie area with Polarstern, hopefully. And, uh, and we'll say more about that, and, and I myself will also say a few words about that expedition uh, in the afternoon. Okay. So that means concerning the paleo, the paleo uh, uh, themes, there are, in my mind, five major um, um, uh, let's say, uh, themes or um, programs. And, and I'm very optimistic, in my mind, we could get all of them within the next 10 years. Uh, so that means we have here the, uh, the, the, the expedition, uh, there's a program uh, we are talking about today. Um, more and, and also here the, the McKenzie part. And there are the Mesozoic, the Perishnography, the Genozoic, this is the A62, and the, the A62 here from the Atlantic. And this is paleoclimate. We also have the, this, this gas hybrid uh, or geohazard uh, uh, themes. Um, and for sure, I'm pretty sure that more will uh, be submitted here from the area around Svalbard and uh, maybe also from Russian colleagues for the uh, Lapis, I'm not sure. But it could be. And uh, concerning the gas hydrates, uh, some people may, may, may not know more about this, uh, whether this has been uh, continued, this discussion. This was from the Kananaskis workshop. Uh, at least the people who participated in that, um, in that workshop and in this uh, working group, they thought about a, a major theme, uh, a major program with an IUP. Uh, dealing with uh, gas hydrate themes uh, in the Mackenzie area, but also here uh, in the uh, Svalbard and, and the Eurasianactic area. So it's an ongoing discussion. So, and um, the other thing what we should uh, uh, consider when we are talking about new um, RDP type uh, drilling projects uh, for the next 10 years, um, that um, we may include other ships like uh, the J JR, uh, other drill ship which can go, uh, that can go to the high Arctic. Um, but you also should have in mind that in the new program, uh, MEBO type uh, drilling, this is a drill rig which you can put at the seafloor. You can use it from Polarstern, and from Healy, from uh, uh, normal uh, ships. Um, and also the Mario Le Fen, uh, or here, uh, type of the Corin, this what's called piston core. This type of the coring system can be included within IOPP. And that means the, exp the expeditions will become much cheaper than ASEX. And uh, so that's why I think for the paleo uh, aspects, uh, objectives, uh, 
you can get more than one or two expeditions if you also include this type of devices. And this uh, also has been mentioned in the sense uh, by, by Leonid that we have to uh, have in our mind that the ice will become less and less and less. So in these areas, we can uh, use JR. Um, and uh, I'm coming coming to, to the end, and this will be my, my last slide to give you an idea what's going on in the IODP system. <coughs> um, and uh, of course, this is all very tentative. This is, uh, these are possible scenarios, but I think that the general time schedule is, uh, I shouldn't say fixed, but it's, uh, it's clear that, and I think this is important for our discussion, that we should not think about uh, an IOP expedition in the Arctic, uh, in this area, uh, which will be happening with, let's say, in 2015 or 16. So we are talking about 2018, maybe 2017 or so. So we have still time to collect site survey data and to put together an excellent, or a couple of excellent food. Okay, so this uh, map shows uh, proposals, which are the system, which are ready to go. And uh, concerning the JR, the ship for sure will stay for this year and next year, maybe beginning of 2015, in the West Pacific and in the Indian Ocean. This is based on the proposals and what is in the system of what proposals will work. And then there will be a big program here in the Southern Ocean. There are now workshops and then people are discussing and proposals will be submitted. So this is my, my personal feeling there will be, <coughs> let's say, two years or so, somewhere around Antarctica, the Southern South Atlantic, or the South Atlantic, South Pacific, and so on. But then it's totally open. <coughs> this depends on the proposals which are in the system or which will, will be in the system in the near uh, future when the ship will go into the uh, Pacific, North Pacific, or it could also go, uh, the JR could go into the uh, North Atlantic. So that means if we are talking about a JR expedition, uh, I think so 2018 or so uh, might be the uh, realistic time frame. Yeah? Um, Concerning JR, there is still a big question mark, of course, that, that you may know, or most of you know, that there is this, this phase of non-IODP drilling for JR. That means where the millions from the industry will come to the table. And uh, for sure, if uh, there is, uh, like, like uh, last year, um, some money from Shell, uh, and then the ship, the JR, uh, went into the Veteran Bay. Uh, and that's why we got then also here's the, uh, the front run. From a uh, uh, sediment drift expedition or so that changes the, the total plan, the plan uh, totally. Uh, so if, if some millions will come on the table for the North Pacific, uh, maybe in 2016 or so, then of course we may be in a lucky situation that JR will go to that area early. But this is the general plan. And concerning the um, uh, MSPs, um, the plan until 2015 is more or less fixed. So this year we will have the Baltic Sea here. Then uh, 2014, it's fixed. There will be the Chicxulub here in the Gulf of Mexico, and then there will be Atlantic Massive and uh, uh, the Coral Bank uh, program. So 2014, 2015 15 is fixed, and that means for MS, uh, MSP type drilling, uh, we can think about 2016 plus. So. Uh, this, I think, uh, this we should have in mind when we think about new, the new program, new uh, full performance, and so on. And uh, site survey data, which is certainly still needed uh, for our, uh, our program. Okay, thank you very much. Does anybody have a question for Rudy? I think from 2008 when we talked about from speculation to reality, now we're speculating about reality. So I think it's a sign of real progress. So, so I have a question. Is, has the processing of the proposals changed at all in the new system? Is it, it, has that structure changed quite a bit? Well, the, uh, or is it streamlined is, uh, at all? The, the structure is uh, still the same. 
Um, that means uh, but th there is no, <coughs> we know there's only this one uh, proposal which are uh, reviewing the sciences, PEP, proposal right. evaluation panel. But there's one, one comment I personally uh, do not like, which is written in the new um, document. Power, for example, for JR and, and for the MSP, is sitting at these so called now facility boards. And each uh, ship for each uh, for Chikyu, for JR, and for the MSPs, there are separate facility boards. And there is this uh, review panel on top. This is for all the for the for all proposals. But it's clearly written that the facility board may follow the recommendation of this uh, uh, of this uh, review panel. That means it has not to do it. Yeah, this is very important. That the power is now sitting at the facility boards, even if there is this review board with, this, uh, with international people and for the whole program. Um, it is not absolutely necessary that really these people in the facility board where the decision will be made about the expeditions, about the implementation, will follow them. The last discussion they said, okay, this is written there, but we will follow that. But why it is written then in the study is not absolutely. But the facility board are looking only at proposals that are transmitted by PEP. So yes. that, uh, and then yeah. this is uh, the facility board of both GR, MSP, and G2 yes. is composed of an international facility. Yeah, but, they, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, of course uh, there, there, there will be a review of the science. And if it is good, it will go to the facility boards. But they, they only, uh, there will be many, many uh, uh, proposals in that, uh, that's sitting at the facility board, and there this group can say, okay, we, we take this, we take not these two, these are might be the best one, but we are in favor of, of others. <laughs> this, is, this is really the point. This is then also a political uh, discussion, for sure. All right. But again, let's I see how it works. This was uh, at the very end. Uh, uh, the final statement and everyone agreed and uh, so let's see it in a bit of optimistic way. Yes. And that I'm doing it. If you look at this, uh, that I really think that we might get five IDP expeditions within the next 10 years in the Arctic, if we include Mebo uh, type and then what's all the what's all calling system. And for the oceanography, oceanography program, if you can get this 50 to 100 meter long course um, can do a lot. Okay. Any other questions for Rudy? Okay. Well, the next speaker is about yeah, speaking is. about what? Is me next? Yeah, you're next. Okay. Sorry. Oh, sorry.